Are you Brian Hall? Yes, yes I am. I noticed the sign behind you. What is Studio 101? Studio 101 is a creative learning place. It's a place for you, the students, to come to study either alone or in groups or just to get away from things and maybe play with Play-Doh, Legos, Tinker. Uh, we even have things to color. For faculty, it's a place to reserve so students can have a unique learning experience. You know what? I think it would be easier if I showed you around. So come on. Before we go any further, please be sure to sign in. Thank you very much. What's your involvement with Studio 101? Uh, I'm the coordinator of Studio 101. Coordinator? What's a coordinator? Well, my job is to make sure the space is used uh, in connection with the vision, which is creative learning. Um, it's to make sure that students, while they're here, uh, if they have any questions or have any needs, they can ask me. And also to make sure things transition smoothly from class to class. What's this room? Uh, this is 101. This is where students usually come to study either alone or in groups or as you can see here, tinker. Can students just really just hang out here and play with Legos? They sure can. You can play with them too, uh, but maybe a little bit later because I see your hands are full. Brian, what's your favorite food? Uh, pizza is my favorite food. If you could meet anyone living or dead, real or fictional, who would it be? Uh, it would be Kurt Vonnegut. Why Kurt? Uh, because I admire him as a writer, uh, and it, he's really the writer that got me interested in reading when I was younger, and really put me on the path where I am now. Who's your favorite superhero? Uh, it, it's Batman. Why Batman? Because of all of his wonderful toys. What do you want people to think of when they hear Studio 101? I want them to think of engaged learning. What happens here? Uh, this is Studio 101A. This is where faculty reserve it to, uh, to do collaborative projects or have a collaborative lesson. So you'll see that uh, a lot of times uh, faculty have students working in groups or at, at whiteboards uh, on an assignment. What do faculty and students do here that's different from the regular classrooms? Um, I think it's the level of collaboration that occurs here uh, because instead of a teacher just doing a straight lecture, they're able to give them an assignment and the, the faculty member can walk around and make sure students really get it because they can actually see it occurring either within the groups or on the whiteboards. Why do you think students like being in this space? You know what, I think it's best if we ask them. Students, why do you like being in this space? I like this room a lot because it's a lot less stressful than a normal classroom is. It's more relaxed and laid back. And it also gives us a chance to be more creative than we could in a regular classroom. Yeah, um, I also like it for those reasons and because we are finally given the option to learn in a kinesthetic manner. Um, there are three main forms of learning, visual, audio, and kinesthetic. And visual and audio are very, very common in the classroom setting, but kinesthetic seems to get the back burner. Thank you very much. It's almost like I planned that. Brian, what's your favorite quote? Um, buy the ticket, take the ride. Uh, Hunter S. Thompson. What are three words that best describe your philosophy of teaching? Uh, I think it would be making learning visible. Yeah, making learning visible. What would you like students to take away from Studio 101? Uh, I would like them to take away that there are many different ways to learn, that uh, sometimes going into a space and sort of tinkering with an idea is an important part of the process, and this place gives them that opportunity. Last question. Yes. What are your dreams for Studio 101? Uh, first and foremost, to have more students like you to come and use the space. Uh, also to have more faculty reserve the space so their students can have a unique learning experience. And ultimately to have spaces like this, not only in this building, which is the MLA building, but also other buildings on campus. Thanks, Brian. Nope, thank you. Have a great day.